so in the process of creating this uh, stylized landscape in unreal engine the first part is developing the landscape material which has two colors one is this brown color kind of represents the soil and another green color uh, that represents the grass area so from the green area you will see the grass spawns grass measure size spawned and not from the brown area and also in the distance as you can see here the color is uniform you don't see brown patches in the distance you only see the green so that's because I have blended a green color with the distance to the landscape material and yeah that's what I am going to do today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so this is the current level I have so uh, the, the day before yesterday we were working on converting this grass to cell shaded materials but that's that didn't turn out well so anyway I'm going to start it from again by changing the landscape material so as you can see here this is too detailed which does not suitable for a cell shaded game for the cell shaded style so therefore first what I'm going to do is this right I'm going to create a new landscape material okay so yeah let's create one here M landscape sir shaded and this is the material I have so I'll just create promote this one to a parameter I'll call it just cross color and set the default value to something like this and apply and here so this is the material instance that I'm using for this landscape so I'll open this material instance and instead of this parent material that I have here I'll select this M landscape cell shaded now it becomes like this and you can see here also uh, this landscape is like this now right so this is completely green that is also not very realistic so yeah let's make some not just green some yellow patches uh, yellow or something like that looks like the soil so soil patches and grass right so let's go to the landscape and I'll create another color by duplicating this one just go here and duplicate with ctrl w like this I'll name this one soil color and I'll change the default value to something like this this one also I think it should be more a little bit dark or light uh, maybe like this I don't know right now how do we make some area has this green and some areas has this brown color so we can do it like this let's add a linear interpolate node a is green and b is brown c and yeah as you can see here if i set the alpha value to 1 it becomes 
completely brown mm, I think I need to change this uh, that way it's more convenient so alpha 1 means it's completely green that means the grass patch a grass patch if I set it to 0 that means it is completely brown that means uh, a play an area that I don't have grass okay so now we need to give this alpha value with some randomization so at the moment it's uniform throughout the whole world like this so to give some randomization maybe let's see if we have any noise textures here right so these are the noise textures okay uh, let's use the one in the starter content right and let's use this rgb value as the alpha and now you can see some areas are green some areas are brown right let's apply this and see how it looks in our world yeah it looks like this mm, now the problem is I think mm, this tiling is too small so let's make uh, grass patches a little larger and also no let shall we try another noise texture something a little bit bigger maybe like this yeah that's much better I think okay that's better but still I have a problem the problem is that uh, I need to me uh, let's see how it looks compared to the character okay so this grass patches and the soil patches should be larger than this so we can do it like this I can get a texture coordinate so I'm going to modify the tiling of this texture and when append um, not append multiply with some 2d texture we can append it right so I'll promote this to a parameter I'll call it tiling let's call it noise tile and I'll set the default value to 0.2 and connect the same thing here oh. let's try 0.5 right now you can see if I apply this now these cross patches are larger compared to previous case shall we increase it a little further yeah we can do that here like this right okay now it is much larger Shall we make it further large? Oh, no, I think it's too much. Okay, with 
this would be cool. Right. So the next thing I want to do is Now I think I should stop this episode at this point. Oh. Well, no. Let's do one more thing. Um, oh, if I do that, this video will be too long. Okay, so next thing I will do is, you can see in the distance, this doesn't look nice. So for the distance color, maybe I'll blend the landscape color to another maybe a darker color and yeah and after that i'll show you how to spawn grasses uh, grass meshes in this green area and yeah shall we tweak the colors a little bit to make a better impression i think uh, soil color is good but grass color is not quite good all right uh, this I think this is better a uh, yellowish a uh, yellowish green yeah that's better okay so this is the uh, this is the output for today and let's continue with from this point in the next episode and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye